Okay, so this question is about the modified logistic model. And if you remember, the original logistic model looks something like this. The rate of change of a population is equal to a constant k times the population times this factor 1 minus p over k. Now the modified model, it adds in this factor here, 1 minus m over p. And what this kind of does is it sort of gives a minimum population, right? It says that the species will become extinct if the size of the population falls below this minimum m. And what we're trying to find for these specific values of k, the, the carrying capacity, the minimum population, and the constant, we want to figure out for what values of p, the population that's positive, will the population be increasing? And for what values of p will it be decreasing? So in other words, we're trying to, f I plugged in the values here, and we're trying to find for what values of p is the rate of change of the population, dp dt, greater than zero and less than zero, right? Because if dp, dp dt is positive, then its population is increasing. And if the rate of change of the population is negative, then it's decreasing. Okay, so we're trying to f solve that inequality. And what's helpful to do first is to solve the part, figure out where it's equal to zero. So we, I can just recopy this and set it equal to zero. And of course, when we have three different factors here, we have one factor, a second factor, and a third factor, all equal to zero. This whole expression is equal to zero if and only if one of them, or either one, at least one of them is equal to zero. So p equals zero, right, the first thing here. Or one minus p over 40,000 is equal to zero, or the last factor is equal to zero. So for this first one, we can rearrange it, and we can see we get p is equal to 40,000. And the last one here, 300 divided by p equal to zero. So what is that? Negative 300 divided by p equals to negative one, and so p is equal to 300. Okay. So now we found the zeros of the derivative. So this is the derivative dp dt. We found the zeros of it. So here we, I'll draw a an, uh, number line here. Here's zero, here's 300. And all the way over here is here's 40,000. And again, this is a scale, the horizontal scale here, or this is a scale of dp dt. But the horizontal scale here is p. And this is similar to the first derivative test, right? It's very similar to the first. We take the derivative, find the zeros, and then find which intervals, right? What's the what's the sign of the derivative on all of these intervals? So between zero and three hundred, if you just go back to your original equation here, plug in a value between zero and three hundred, you're going to notice that well, this is positive. This part is going to be positive as well. And notice that 300 divided by p, if p is less than 300, that's going to be a number greater than 1. So this factor is going to be negative. We're going to have 1 minus a number that's bigger than 1. And so it's going to be negative in this interval. Between 300 and 40,000, well, again, this right here, this will still give us, this fraction will still give us a number less than 1. So this will still be positive. 300 divided by p is going to give us a number less than 1 as well. So in this case, this is going to turn positive. And so the, the whole product, the positive times positive times positive, will give us a positive here. And finally, when p is greater than 40,000, this one will remain positive. But this one, you can see if p is greater than 40,000, the whole fraction will be greater than 1. And so 1 minus a number greater than 1 gives me a negative number. And so it's going to be negative in this interval. And since population must be positive, I'm not really worrying about that other interval here where p is less than 0. OK, so putting it together, the population is increasing if p is in the interval from 300 to 40,000. 
right? That's this middle interval right here. And P is decreasing if we're in this interval or this interval, right? Not including zero and not including 300 because 300, the rate of change is equal to zero. It's not negative. And so we're taking the interval from zero to 300 and we'll union that with the zero interval from 40,000 to infinity.